Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. John McEnroe brought back his iconic 80s look as he was spotted filming a TV advert at a local tennis club. The American former tennis player, 65, will be part of the BBC's coverage of Wimbledon once again this summer when it returns on Monday. McEnroe, a three-time champion at SW19, is remembered by fans for his ringlet curled auburn locks, which he often sported a stretchy headband with. And on Saturday, McEnroe was seen recreating the look as he shot a commercial at a local club. His trademark hairdo was back in the form of a wig with a red headband over top, along with a par of white shorts and a polo shirt. McEnroe finished the look with a pair of red and white Nike ankle length and beige, navy and white trainers. The former player also threw on a navy overcoat as he moved around the set. In another set of shots, McEnroe took off the wig and swapped it out for a pair of sunglasses. The look emulated that of McEnroe's 1981 men's singles final win at Wimbledon aged 22. It comes after John reiterated calls for a statue of Andy Murray to be unveiled at Wimbledon to honor the Triple Grand Slam winner's achievements in the sport. It still isn't known whether Murray, 37, will be fit to compete at this year's championship. The player after undergoing surgery on a spinal cyst on Saturday. There has long been talk over a statue of the Scot in the grounds of the All England Club, where in 2013 he became the first British man to win Wimbledon since Fred Perry in 1936. In McEnroe's mind, the right outcome is clear. If I was making that decision, I would say absolutely yes because that's a long drought, 77 years, said McEnroe. He's absolutely changed the way people look at British tennis. He's one of the greatest competitors that I've ever seen play tennis. It'd be well deserved and it'd be awesome, because two of his three Grand Slam wins, 2013 and 2016, were at Wimbledon plus the Olympics, gold medal in 2012. He was part of the Big Four, and he finished 2016 as the best player in the world. It's unfortunate that injuries mean you don't hear about him the same way he did before. It is like the Big Three now. There's the saying that I've used many times, the older I get, the better I used to be. And unfortunately, when you have injuries, it's pretty damn hard, if not impossible to get to that level where you were. Earlier this month the All England Club CEO, Sally Bolton, explained the decision of how to mark Murray's achievements at Wimbledon laid in his hands. She said, we have got a range of paths to our plans for Andy. At the right point in time we will make those relevant announcements. But it is certainly for Andy to make the decision for when we trigger those plans. 